in just a few days, we are approaching the one year anniversary of your spacewalk with Jessica Meir, which happened to be the first all women spacewalk in history. Um, I know at the time you were just doing your job, um, just being an astronaut, but how does it feel reflecting on it in, in hindsight? Right. You know, it is interesting that a whole year has passed. In some ways, it's hard to believe. It was such a momentous moment both for both of us, career-wise and personally. And I think the year has really made me realize that, and, and we said this all along, it's not really about a personal achievement for either one of us, but it was really about a more collective decision by our organization that it was that important to go for all and by all, that every single person was going to be a part of the journey, that we were going to make sure from the beginning that our class was trained to be incredible spacewalkers, every single one of us, no matter what. Um, and that meant that, you know, everyone had to try hard to sort of achieve that. And everyone was going to have a place at the table. Everyone's skills were going to be put towards that. Everyone was going to allow, you know, their ability to essentially keep the space station running at peak performance to be applied and to contribute in that way. And it's really been interesting how 2020 has become this year that has symbolized inclusion in so many ways. And um, so that's really kind of my big takeaway a year later is that this year has been all about inclusion and we kind of almost uh, we're kicking it off in some ways um, unknowingly that that symbol of inclusion, you know, spacewalking being such a male dominated arena prior, you know, and still is um, and making sure that NASA was really committed to uh, like, like I like to say, answering humanity's call to explore by everyone. And so it was, um, just a wonderful thing to have the honor to participate in. And I think that we're just so appreciative still to receive the support that we still receive every day about it. Absolutely. Um, you know, in reflecting it kind of on a more just fun note, I'm curious if there are any moments from the spacewalk that are, you know, you kind of treasure kind of personal moments that, that you had out there that, that are among your favorites. Definitely. There are so many neat moments. So what a lot of people may not realize about that spacewalk in particular, the one on October 18th, was that it was an unexpected contingency spacewalk. It had not been planned for years like normal spacewalks. Uh, something broke unexpectedly, and in less than a week, the teams came together and figured out how we were going to fix it. And it was not a standard spacewalk. My dog is talking, so I might say that again in case you heard noises. Uh, um, so it was not a standard spacewalk. We had to utilize the robotic arm. It was my only spacewalk being on the robotic arm. It was one of the few spacewalks that I was the lead spacewalker. And it was the first time that I was going out on a spacewalk with someone whose first spacewalk it was. So the first time, um, you know, uh, my, my spacewalk buddy uh, was seeing it through their eyes for the first time. And so, you know, the moment of being on the robotic arm was great. Um, the fact that we had to just come together and with such teamwork, we worked back and forth with the ground for the week prior to the spacewalk, honing in on what procedures we would use. They, um, it was a great interactive thing because we really were able to give a lot of input. But if you want to talk about moments, I would say the best moment was when Jessica and I both came out of the airlock and before we left and as we were sort of doing our buddy checks, our eyes kind of caught each other and we knew what an amazing moment it really was. And uh, we smiled and, you know, we were talking to the ground like normal and no one knew that, uh, that, that we had that moment, but um, that was a really special thing I'll never forget. That's incredible. Um, so, you know, this obviously took a long time to happen for the first all women spacewalk to happen because it, women were only allowed in NASA's astronaut corps beginning in 1983, which does not seem that long ago. No. Um, so there simply just haven't been enough women for this to happen because this wasn't, you know, planned explicitly to be this. This was just the rotation of yeah. astronauts. Um, That's so right. I'm, I'm curious, what do you hope for the next generation of astronauts? If, if you could look into the future and paint kind of an ideal picture, I, I assume it would look a little bit different. Definitely. And you really hit the nail on the head. Not only is aerospace a technical industry that is often had under representation by women, but spacewalking in particular is a really stark example of that. Um, 
I think there have been about 15 women that have ever done a spacewalk and there are over 200 men that have done a spacewalk. So it's, it's a really stark uh, disparaging by the numbers. And so to see that sort of start to turn the corner, to be in this new era where no matter who comes on as an astronaut candidate, the expectation that's placed on them that they're going to be a great spacewalker is the same. There's no excuses. There's no lower bar of expectations. And that, to me, is what I am looking forward to see changed in the future, that when people show up, there's not going to be an expectation of what you're going to be good at and what you're going to struggle with. We're going to expect the same high caliber performance out of everyone, and we're going to stress performance over not just participating. And I think that's going to be... um, kind of what I look to for the future. I I also see a world where we focus on mentorship, where we're paying forward to the future explorers. Um, I see a world where when women um, are selected into the astronaut corps, um, it, it, it's not even a surprise. Uh, my class of astronauts was half women and half men, still the only class of astronauts that has that percentage. But I think we're going to be seeing a world where um, that's just, like you said, more of the norm. Um, we're making sure that the, the playing field is more level, that everyone has to work equally hard to achieve their dreams. And I think that's what's important. Um, we all focus on doing our best and making sure that we're bringing our best to every situation and that we don't settle for just participation. And we certainly don't settle for not participating.